Hi, my name is Marietta Mahani and this week's muscle conditioning tip, we're using the Swiss ball. We're actually doing a bit of cardio with it and we're going to do a lift off action with it. So if you haven't seen the week before on how to do lift off, check that video out first because it will make a lot more sense. So we're starting on a ball where your hips are higher than your knees. You're going to be lifting up and down off the ball, always keeping your fingers in contact with the ball. Now I want you to check out my feet. So my feet are the same distance apart as my shoulders. And as I go up and down, you'll notice that my shoulders stay level. And I want to keep that. I want to keep this square. Yeah, that's really important. And what I'm going to do now is add some arm lines. So I'm going up and down. My thighs are beginning to feel this. I'm going to add an arm action to the front. So if you're an instructor and you're watching this, you may make sure that you use music that's at about 130 BPMs. That's really important because when you're doing an exercise at 130 BPMs, it just sets the right tempo for this up-down action that feels good to perform. So with the forward raise, you want to make sure that your arms stop at shoulder height, that your shoulders don't hitch to reach down, to get to the ball. So you only go up as high as your arm is long. Then, if you want to add a little bit more, what you can do is take the arm up higher, but not so high that you're now lifting your shoulders up towards your ears. Just high enough to keep the shoulders level and reaching up and forwards. So another little arm line that you can also add here is what I call the backstroke action. So keeping the fingers together, rolling the arms to the back. Again, being aware of your shoulders so you're not overreaching, trying to reach up too high. You want to make sure that those shoulders stay level, your hips stay level, and you're just repeating that same movement over and over again. You can play around with these moves and add singles and doubles, four on each arm if you wish. A little single, single, double pattern can work really well or four singles, and then a backstroke action. So if you're an ex group fitness instructor and you're planning to use this sort of movement, you can actually play around with a lot of different patterns with those basic arm patterns. And that's this week's muscle conditioning tip.